Hey everybody, Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, also known as your title king. I wanted to talk to you today about how to select a closing date. We have a lot of realtors and investors that are watching these videos, and sometimes even the buyer or seller are watching these videos. And one of the things that we see is when people draft a real estate contract, they always seem to select one of two days in the month. It's usually either the 15th, which is the middle of the month, or the last day of the month, whether it's the 28th, 29th, 30th, or 31st, whatever the last day of the month is. And I'd like to try and change the industry standard. You know, it seems like it's just a standard. When we draft a real estate contract, you automatically just put 15th or the end of the month, or let's just say the 30th. And I think that's a really big mistake, and I'm gonna to explain to you why. From a title company perspective, all of our closings wind up being on the 15th or the 30th. They wind up funneling all into one single day and then everyone gets stressed out. The lenders get stressed out, the realtors get stressed out, the buyers get stressed out, the sellers get stressed out, the attorneys get stressed out because it's always getting a closing package, making sure the wire's done, making sure there's a walkthrough, there's moving trucks. So it's a, a very busy time of the month. And I like to always tell you, if you're a buyer or seller and you've ever done a deal on the 15th or the 30th, you know a lot of times that it's just there's a lot of last minute things that has to happen in order to bring that deal together. So my tip today for Title Tuesdays is try and schedule your closings for the middle towards the end of the week, which is perfectly fine, but try not to do it on the last day of the month and try not to do it on the 15th of the month. And you will have a much better experience in dealing with your lender in dealing with the realtors and everyone else involved in the transaction. I can tell you from doing over a hundred closings a month, we're fine doing it at the end of the month because we have the staff available. There are other companies that you're able to work with that they may not have the time to handle that amount of volume on the last day of the month or in the middle of the month. So it's very important to do some proper planning now to make sure you're able to get in. And I know a lot of people always say one of the reasons is because maybe the buyer's renting somewhere and they don't want to double pay. But if you can have two or three days of overlap, you as a buyer are going to have such a better closing experience. If you can close on your house on let's say the 25th and you give yourself that four or five days to move into the new property, get your moving truck, get settled, and then move on. Now obviously if you're waiting for some type of security deposit or something back from a tenant and you must do it the same day, then you would schedule it for the same day. But try not to schedule it for the end of the month. It's very, very important because, you know, the lenders are trying to get the closing packages out. There's a lot of wires going out. There's a lot of funding approval going on. And all of that just delays the process and causes unneeded frustration for you, the consumer, the buyer and the seller. We're okay because we're industry professionals and we see this every single month. So we're set up for it but it's all about making it a better closing experience for the consumer, whether it's the buyer or the seller. So this was a short video today. I hope you learned something talking about selecting the closing date in your contract. Again, just to recap, try not to select the 15th or the last day of the month. Try and schedule it a day or two before or three before. Try and schedule maybe for the 20th of the month or the 10th of the month on an oddball day that may not fall in the middle or the end of the month to cause a better closing experience for you, the consumer. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up on this video. This is one of the videos that someone asked us pr to produce, asking why there's so much going on on the last day of the month, and that's why. So if we can change the industry a little bit and get three or four of our clients to schedule closings on different days, it's gonna be a better closing experience for you the next time you buy or sell a house. So give me a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe. The red subscribe button is very, very important. Make sure you click subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you'll never get notified of all of our upcoming videos that we try and produce every single day for our Title Tuesdays video newsletter. So thanks for watching. My name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.